I'm going trick or treating with my kids. I know Alex is set up to go. Yeah. Uh, Kyle's gonna scare the shit out of some kids and steal the candy. Boys doesn't even have to wear a costume for that. Nope. Well, we're watching Sasquatch. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 Scare those little bastards. <laughs> Just take the camera. Take the candy. Oh my god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Laser Everything, the Laser Source Podcast. The number one podcast, if you enjoy podcasts. <laughs> About period. lasers. Best podcast, period. Lasers are, are the bonus, the icing on the cake, right? So uh, it's the 100th episode, guys. We've we've made it. Boop, boop. Beep, beep, beep. Hit the button. Okay. So we got we got a lot of people hanging out. Said hi in chat already. But, boys, you had a question you wanted to ask. So... Th- you know, the big thing is, is it's 100 episodes, man. So my question for everybody in the chat is, what is the first episode you remember watching from Laser Everything? Like the very first thing you searched, stuff like that. Like for me, I was going to buy a laser. Duh. And I searched up what's the best laser for a startup business. And of course, the buying guide one where you have the three different laser sources, the diode. Was it the diode, the CO2, and the fiber with the three different entry-level price points? Um that's the very first one I watched. And then I just literally binge for like the entire weekend to get as much information as I could. And then I, you know, discord, Facebook, LMA, I, I donated $8 right away. Actually it was $25. I was a $25 guy. You, you were on the big money the big plan. Well, I just figured, man, that's so much information. I know how much work it goes into his videos. So I thought, man, it's worth 25 bucks. A just to see the settings B to be in the community, you can ask questions there, not in a YouTube comments. You know, it's like it's hard to get an answer in a YouTube comment. Like, oh, what kind of laser is that? You know, discussions like, are really hard to tough. have in the comments, especially back and Absolutely. forth. Yeah. And, and so, so like, for me, that's kind of what got me going. And I just I've been here since, you know, like that's crazy. Like a year and some change later, here I am, you know, so I don't know. Well, mm. if you guys could enter that in the live chat and if you're watching this after the live, Drop a comment. Let us know what the first episode that got you into the podcast was. So with that, let's start saying hello to all the people hanging out on our 100th episode. We got Beam It Up, Anthony. We got Golf Coast. What's up? Hope you're doing good, bud. Laura. How's it going, Laura? Vince, what's up? Jack in the shop, as always. We got Cuban. What's up, Bronson? Oh, here here we got. We got one answer here. I love it. Lasers. She oh, says, not the Oreos. How cool is that? Be, it that? It had shit. to be that episode. Uh, I feel like that was an answer uh, to what was the last one I ever watched. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, John says his first one was when I got my Mira 9 was hooking it up. That was a nice. disaster okay. of a live stream because it was I was not prepared <laughs> with the proper tools. Um, you're, you're never yeah. prepared for not you in general, but any person with their first laser. You mm-hmm. could plan out every detail, and I am one of those yep. people that plans out every detail with big purchases like that. I was still not prepared, man. It's you, you always miss something. It might be a small thing, many small things, and they add up. But I was with you on that. I was not prepared for my first laser, man. Well, Cuban Crack says couldn't figure out EasyCAD two because it was a reskin from Laser Star quality oh, and i found yeah. a video on how to make these halloween stickers from there i was hooked and that was back in february this year the aluminum cutouts on business cards episode that was yeah. good that's yep. a good video yeah yeah it was and and i think we actually have first a good time uh, where'd it go learning with cindy her first time catching cindy. a live so that's cool Hi, you Cindy. made it. You're you're live on the hundredth episode. Thanks for coming yes. by, Cindy. I wish we could we bring got- in, like, give us a link and have people join us. That'd be something cool to do. Maybe we jump in. We got uh, we got Doctor Asus in the house. Lori, what's up? Tactical, how's it going? B Curtis, what's up? Got lots of people coming to visit. Oh, Lori Champagne says you guys are burning up an ear pod an airpod case and i thought who are these idiots <laughs> I uh, <was> yep. <laughs> yep. 
That's the, hey, uh, it, it wasn't just about burning up the AirPods case. There, there was legit settings. There was good marks bef before we destroyed them, in fairness. See, I remember I was getting hooked into, like, I just got my CO2. I had paid it off, and I was like, okay, what's next? And then for me, the big thing was, all right. I've heard about these fiber lasers. Let me go look for them. So I started going into all the forums. I found all the groups. And my thing is a lot of the groups were really rude. <laughs> like I was like, Hey guys, ah, I'm cool. interested in buying a fiber laser. And I was wondering what's the best thing I should get. Try. And then people were like, well, what are you going to make? What are you going to do? Uh, and they were just, it was like super rude. And uh, I kind of got pushed around to a couple places. And uh, then someone was like, Hey, I'll sell you. Like literally someone found me was like, hey, I'll sell you a laser. And they told me it was going to cost me $9,000. And like, they're in my DMs. And I'm like, hmm, well, I appreciate that. I'll think about it. Uh, yeah, like Cindy's saying, no one would share any secrets. And what's funny is I found out later on that person resells lasers for like one of the like famous <laughs> resellers here. So I'm pretty sure they were just going to buy a laser from that guy and then just send it to me and make mm. four grand off of a complete noob. You know, um, and that was totally acceptable in those groups. And so having learned all that, I was like, ooh, that's really shitty. Yeah. Like just straight up. That's yeah. So I uh, didn't really go back to those groups. And then I uh, so I typed I think I was like hanging out at the gym and I had typed in like lasers in the podcast on Apple mm. and it said laser source podcast. And I was like, I think Tony was eating a sandwich in my ear for half an hour. Like it was mm. like like Alex is like, what you eating there, Tony? And he's like, I got a meatball sub. <laughs> so like, literally, that was it. So they started yapping in my ear, and I was like, mm, these guys sound kind of fun. And like a couple months later, I went and bought the laser, found who I wanted to buy it from, got it, and then came on the show. I think I like, I think it was like two years ago, almost this month. Like, it, like right now, it's like twenty three months ago. I came on the show talking about fundraisers, and yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yep. I and that. I've been here ever since. Aw. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Marenna remembers her first episode. Oh, my Number God. Number one before Nugget was even born. Yep. It's been a while. She's old. Think about that. That's <laughs> but Just think about this, guys. A hundred episodes ago, or a little more than that, actually, for, for Laser Everything as a company, like, Alex was just a guy who had a, a job shop, and then he decided to put a video online on how to do stuff because of COVID. You know? It's, it's yeah. incredible. That now we've got a marketplace. We're going to be hosting or live streaming for the LBX here in another 10 days or whatever. Yeah, 10 days, man. It's insane. Is it really 10 yeah. days? Oh, oh, my God, it is 10 days. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 10 days till I fly up. I'm going to be riding with boys for two hours, so hopefully we don't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's okay to like, moon people out the window. and It'll be a good time. It'll be so. a good time. Yeah. So... I know a lot of you guys are wondering, where's Alex at? Well, he's going to be here. Uh, he's working on getting something put together to show you guys. Hopefully something special. A uh, <laughs> little, little preview of something. Uh, if it works out, cool. If it doesn't, he'll, he'll pop on and visit. But he'll be with us. He's, he's hanging out with us you know, in our hearts until then. In spirit. Yes. Uh, Lizard Leather says setting up his rotary, uh, or setting up the rotary was the, how he found the channel. Yeah, that's all um, Willie Sims, that buddy. Vince doesn't remember his first episode. It's a good start. Now, Vince doesn't <laughs> usually know where he is anyway, so that's good. Oof. <laughs> Jeez, <Matt. laughs> uh, it's I'm the beard. Start. It weighs on his mind always. Rich, Richie wants to know if you got your cards, boys. And oh, do you yes. like them? They're right here. Absolutely. Hey. Nice Those, uh, what are these, like the 8 millimeter? I think I got? I don't, I don't what know what, what you got. Oh, <laughs> He's hell. asking us like we know. <laughs> I don't remember the thickness. I just got the thickest one that he had. I was like, there you go. I don't remember. The thick, I think the thick boys are 0. 0.8. Yeah, yeah 0. 0.8. But they're they're heavy. Yeah. It sounds nice. You flop that booger on a nice, nice paper. ka -ching. I sold one of those for, like, the, the guy was like, can I give you $20 for one of those? I was like, yes, you can. 0. 0.42? That's what you oh, got? No, I, I so don't those, are, that. those are the like, height. Those are yeah, the halfway the between the... Yeah, those are in the middle. Those are still decently thick for cards. I like those the okay. most, honestly, for what I'm when I'm handing something out where I can give out a hundred of them and not feel bad. Live mm -hmm. unboxing with boys. Live unboxing with boys. Do it, boys. Go nuts. Oh, it's unboxed. Oh wow, <laughs> well, that was really. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, that's kind of loud, I'm sure. Eh, you're good. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Could definitely be worse. But man, yeah, these are these are man, these are really, really I'll put up my cell phone to kind of get an idea of that is a thick Yeah, it's pretty snazzy. And it barely it barely will bend. Yeah, that's not my four. Floppy. And Point those eights. are 0.4s. Like yeah. those are yeah, there's there's a level thicker than that that that's just shy of double. That yeah, that's like the credit card thickness pretty much, right? <laughs> Yeah, the point eight you could use as like a there's very little deterrent. you could chuck them at people. You oh, can, they're 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 just shy of being a self defense weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is about these I like is when you engrave them, you don't have to worry about it warping as much with the heat. It just has a nice even coat instead of the other one. The very the point was it point two, um, or point uh, point two is yeah, like point two. they get a little bit of a warp to them if you get too aggressive. Um, yeah, that's why I like. That's why I ordered these bad boys. Alex just said, hey, man, go order something on the Marketplace. We'll see if it works. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I said, all right, business cards. Bam. Yep. Dude, yeah, I got some nice business cards from Richie. I got, I got, uh, I was testing out the Marketplace one night, and I ended up ordering coins from one of the vendors that was offering coins. And mm. that's going to be a video. But I'm excited for that. Uh, Gwendol says, been following Alex for everything um, blow up thanks to him. I was encouraged to buy a fiber laser. Love in the house. Thanks, Gwen. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, Cubing says he's looking to make decks and has been searching for something like this. So I don't remember how much uh, those cards were. I don't remember either, but uh, they're on the marketplace. They're under yes. the blank section. It's very easy to find. <laughs> and from Gulf Coast Laser, who's also in the chat. Yep. Um, I think there's a couple other people who either have them. They may they might not have live listings yet, but I think there's a couple of options. Um, but we have two. Matt and Boyce have both gotten from Gulf Coast, and they mm -hmm. they've been happy with them. Yep. Um, I've bought in like four or five things now. I got a, I got my, uh, the converter for the EasyCAD three downgrade to EasyCAD two board. I got the um. All those fences. Oh yeah, yeah the, 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 for mounting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, fences and something else, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, oh, yeah, this is pretty yeah. good. Jack in the shop says, "I got the K40, moved to the 60 watt Big Red, then I got the 5 watt LM2, then the 30 watt Rake gets to the 100 watt JPT." So he's like moved up the <laughs> all chain. All the things. All yep. the laser, all the things. That's it. Laser yep. everything. Laser all the things. Yeah. It's a lot of experience packed into a handful of machines there, too. Yeah, and Willie was talking about he fell into the broadcast when he was working on the rotary. Oh, my God. What are y'all cooking tonight? Am I cooking? <laughs> I had Subway for dinner. Oh, my God. <laughs> I should have saved it for the stream. Could have been a throwback. Let's see. Well, live stream. <clears throat> well, and just so everybody knows, too, when you go to the, um, to the website, you can order black, blue, red through Gulf Coast. Uh, these this thickness and he also has like the business card jigs that are all on there if you want to just have a jig and knock it out like there's several different jigs that are made of different materials but i know you highlighted this a minute ago but john said oh man alex is going to show up on camera with hair smoking face covered in soot and a big <laughs> smile to make us all believe that the experiment was a success <laughs> whatever whatever I, he's working on speaking of jigs i've been working on something special um not to spoil it too much, but it'll be on the marketplace soon. Ooh. I think Alex wants in. Mm, I don't know. Alex, give us a nod if you're good. Yeah, he's waving his hands. Oh, oh yeah. A hundred episodes of the Laser Source podcast <laughs> brought to you to by six our six. sponsor, Coca-Cola. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are actually welcome to everybody. Fun fact, Canada drives from Coca-Cola too. Fun yeah. fact, I have pumpkin spice latte. Is up, everybody. Welcome to the yeah. 100th episode of the Laser Source Podcast, the number one podcast if you love your host being 40 <laughs> minutes late every day. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's right. It wouldn't be a live stream without ladies. green screen. That's my pet, Tony. Kyle gave him to me for my birthday. <laughs> uh, what is going on? Man, <clears throat> this, I've had so much Coke today, I'm about to get diabetes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that or no? Did it work? Yes. Oh, yeah. We definitely oh, yeah. heard that. No oh, good. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> and uh, wow, let's see. I'm not used to this system. Was never designed to work with Streamyard. This was designed to broadcast 
directly to YouTube. So what I had to do is it? What it's is the Odyssey. That? I'm on this is the Odyssey, man. What Check is it all out. of that craziness? Yeah, I know. Look, boom. Pretend I'm someone who's watching the show and doesn't know all these. Oh wait, that didn't work. <laughs> what happened? Oh, what happened? The preview. Boom. Oh, oh my the god. Odyssey. Check it out. So this is uh this is the command station for our live stream setup uh for LBX, which is pretty cool. And uh so we'll be we'll be using this. There's a lot of parts to it, uh many of which I will be able to show you today. But good lord. Um yeah, this system was never designed to work with StreamYard. So I needed to do a little bit of hacking to inject the computer's audio into my headphone stream without re-injecting it into the live. <laughs> like, Nobody knows what you're talking about. And so, we you well, it. it doesn't matter. It, the point <laughs> it's is... complex people, audio problem. Yeah, smart no, people. No, I, no, I, I, I kind of like it like this, and I now am like thinking about how I'm going to add this to the permanent setup. I need to mount these little mixers somewhere. Let's take a look at this thing. You ready? Here we go. Yep. Yeah, yeah please. Throw it up. Look Boom. Done. Woo. I didn't even... These count uh, cameras aren't balanced or anything. They're just kind of floating. Everyone's wherever. judging you right now. Um, <laughs> so here we've got uh, the interview area. So this is where we'll be interviewing our panel guests during, uh, you know, the, the live portions of the live stream. So uh, everybody who does a speaking talk, TED talk thing at LBX, uh, hopefully will be coming by the studio. We haven't confirmed with a lot of people yet, but uh, Lightburn just sent it out. It's a whole thing. So uh, this is where they will be. And uh, so you'll see there's two seats on your right there for Boyce and uh, Matt or me and Matt or me and Boyce, depending on who's chatting. And then uh, the four seats along the left will be for our guests. So it's all mic'd up. It's all ready to go. All the wiring's done. Uh, if we hit two, we do have a close-up view uh, of the, uh, the hosts there. So that'll be nice. So we can cut back and forth between these two as needed. And then uh, number three here, this is a kind of Matt and I's control station. Uh, on the desk over there, you can just barely see the um, joystick. Yeah, it's a uh, super joy is, is what it's called. It allows us to control these PTZ cameras, which I may or may not be able to show you today, depending on how much time we have. And uh, of course, fourth view right here, close up. So if uh, Matt and Boyce are trying to actually do their job and I want to chime in with something, I can hit a button and chime in with it. And this, of course, back here, this is a uh, 13 foot green screen. Let me see if I can actually... I'd love to be able to show you guys uh, the actual green screen. What's funny is Cuban Crack said he knew it wasn't a green screen. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> the cool surprise, it's a green By screen. By the way, so I was giving you a hard time saying nobody knows what you're talking about, but you know what? John Upton said, no, uh I know what he's talking about, and that looks Good. dope. Uh, oh, there it is. There's the green screen there. Um, so cool. you can actually check that out. Uh, and this is what it looks like when we don't have an image on it. The filters are all messed up, and I'm not sure why. None. There's no filters there. No chroma here. Well, uh, neither here nor there. There's still a few bugs that need to get ironed out before the show. But we have a lot of time to get that done. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked mm -hmm. about it. And, Nine uh, days to figure it out. I'll, yeah, uh, I'll do my best <laughs> while you guys are chatting to um, try to make that a little more impressive. Oh, hey, look, there's my green screen image. Why are you filtering like this? What is going on? Kyle set this up. I don't know what I'm doing. I um, did not set that part up. I set green to an image. I did not set black. Mm, yeah, I don't know what. I don't know why it's like thinking that the green screen is. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, it's pretty cool stuff. Am I still full screen over here? Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Great. So, Super. I love that. All right. Well, here's what I'll do. <laughs> so what I was going to do is I was actually, I just got a message from Kyle. Um, so in case you guys don't know what's happening or you're new to the channel, because I know for the, like learning with Cindy said, this is the first time she's been able to catch it live. So welcome again. Um, hey, what's happening is we're going to be at LBX, like Boy said, at the end of the month, which is crazily enough in like nine days Ugh. yeah um 10 days i think is when the actual fun and craziness starts but nine days for us um and what's happening is we have a 30 by 10 space so a nice rectangle so alex has spent the last 
five days, I think, clearing all of the lasers out of there, getting the space ready. He marked out 30 feet by 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Then he actually set up because Kyle, my uh, Kyle, he and Kyle were the two that really came up with all the camera angles and where things need to be placed. They drew it out. They created a schematic. Uh, um, I'm working on making a list of all the different things that are going to be on the pallet that's heading over there. I mean, it's, it's wild. Um, so it's really, really cool to not only create a TV station, but then to make it mobile yeah. <laughs> enough to like transport yeah. it across the country a third of the way and then just show up and put it all back together. So that's what me it's and boys get to man. do. Yeah, we were going to try to drive it. And then at one point we actually, I mean, we literally had to hire a freight company to come in and pick up a pallet of our stuff because there was just so much stuff. Um, <laughs> So they I, came, they got the pallet, and uh, I mean, man, it's Alex just, was like, it's been it wild. Was more than four hundred pounds, and after the first like thirty <laughs> items on the pallet, it was six hundred pounds. Yeah, and he was like, "Well, I guess I was wrong." That's true. So <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, and by the way, that was kind of to me. There was someone who asked a question up here earlier that said, 100 episodes. What's the next milestone that you're looking for?" And I didn't want to answer, but to me, this is this is it. I mean, look at where he's at right now. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa, that's a fuzzy. Up. He's a fuzzy, crazy. I'm a man. fuzzy man. Um, I think the next milestone is 50k, right? Or right around the corner. Oh, it is. That. Yeah. Alex that's went. Cool. Alex went cyberpunk. Yeah, uh, for a moment there, like a 1990s MTV. I messed video. it. You're gonna have to fix the. You're gonna have to fix the green screen. That's bro. all right. I touched too many things. Black looks good. Looks there good on go. there. So yeah, it was Michael Collins said you've had the first episode, now the 100th. What's the next milestone? I think 50k. We're hoping will be in the next month. Yeah. Uh, did he mean in relation to the podcast? I would say two 200, right? Yeah, 200. Well, but what's the next milestone? Or period. 250, 500, 1,000. It's kind of. I think that's the, that's the count. Ooh, but um, up, Kyle yeah. is remoting in. So one of the cool things about the Odyssey setup is Kyle's not going to LBX. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Uh, Kyle's chilling at home. He can't make it, but I we think set up the wrong word. Yeah, he's we, gonna be stressing. <laughs> chilling is the right word. We set up. Um, oh, Kyle, the ATEM is two o two. Yep. We set up this entire everything on this console that you guys just were looking at. Uh, every single thing on it can be controlled remotely by Kyle, which is really cool. So uh, Kyle bad. will be there in spirit with us, helping us this whole time. Oh, I wasn't in this, dude. I was in OBS. No, oh, all right. Yeah, I wasn't messing around with that key. Well, screw that. The ATEM key is really difficult, and we definitely don't have enough time to learn that. John uh, said you're a roadie, dude. <laughs> one one <laughs> weird thing, Kyle, and this is just the audience isn't going to care, and I don't think our co-hosts are going to care. Uh, but one thing that kind of sucks about doing the key through OBS is that the hyperdeck can't see it, so it's not going to record. It's going to record a green back backdrop. Which is, you know, it is what it is, but just kind of an odd thought that I had. Quick question from Scott. Good day, all. My first yeah. time joining live. Is this roughly the same time each week? And like Gretch said, yeah, this is the same time each week on I mean, Tuesdays it's the, for us. Definitely it's the roughly. Roughest of, of rough, roughly. It's just how we like time. it here at Laser Everything. Oh my God, he's been eaten by it. Oh God. You see what I mean, dude? Like when you overlap it like that, it kind of. I don't know why it's just not doing it. That's how rough he is. I don't really think it's it matters right this minute, but it doesn't. All right. Well, he's going to keep himself busy doing that. Um, one of the things that I've been trying to set up today are the PTZ cameras, which I don't think I'm going to be able to show, which kind of sucks. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have we'll have some surprises. You guys will have some surprises for you. At LBX, I, Do you, you have the schematic that you made. That'd be cool to show. I, I thought it was neat. don't have it on this computer. Oh, that's I was right. not. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing <laughs> any broadcasting of this. Uh, tonight. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't planning on broadcasting tonight. I thought we were just going to do. I thought I was going to be at home right now, uh, <laughs> but I'm here late, just trying to get this stuff ready. And uh, obviously, there are bugs that need to be. John worked says, out. "Loop it through the dolphin." <sighs> um, but yeah, there's. <laughs> There's a lot to this. There's a lot to this setup, guys. Uh, there's there's a lot of moving parts that kind of make it all function. And uh, you know, obviously, we need to clean things up. Um, we'll 
we'll have it down a little bit better when LBX actually gets here. This is very prototype, but all of the cameras work, all of the mics work, uh, the audio runs really, really well. We've got our uh, our soundboard. Another is, uh, one working great, which is <laughs> awesome. Um, so, like, it's basically it's just the entire studio that we've been building over the last year, uh, and you can push it where you want it to go, which is really cool. Um, I, I think that's super cool. By the way, Christopher Salidi says you need to get a green suit. Who the fuck is that? Uh, he looks like a some granola man. dude. He has some, some kind granola of, dude. <laughs> Crunchy granola dude. What a what a plebeian name. What a peasant. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah. Oh, Chris no. wants to. Chris told me again today. He's like, I'm gonna move out there and work for the channel. I was like, I wish you would, dude. We would like make some of the best videos ever. Which is super cool. Um, I did get another little gadget in today, I guess, since I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Uh, I've been telling you guys to buy this camera for a really long time. This is the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. And uh, I picked it up today because all of these cameras, all of the cameras we've ever gotten for the YouTube channel have had a job to do. And uh, th that's especially true at LBX. But uh, the guys keep telling me, like, we need to do, like, behind the scenes stuff like like a vlog and things like that and i thought this is the perfect time to grab this it's so small it's such a nice little camera and uh i really wanted to kind of like i grabbed this one because i wanted to put my money where my mouth is and show you guys how much a little pocket camera can do uh over something like a cell phone i think you guys are going to be really impressed so uh, not only are we going to shoot our vlog footage on this but we'll also do like the lma events uh the next episode of photo video We'll be able to take some pictures with this and i'll show you the difference between the phone or the tablet right we took we used my tablet's really crappy camera last uh last time we did photo video and i showed you guys how good of pictures you can get out of low-end cameras like that now we can try like a medium-end camera and i'll show you guys how great those photos can come out i think you guys will be really impressed uh, by this, not just for taking photos for things like Etsy, but also for recording your work. Uh, TikTok and yeah. Instagram Reels are, are so big right now, even YouTube uh, for finding new customers and just having the ability to shoot nice video. And don't get me wrong, like the iPhones and Pixels do fine, but this just takes it up like another level. It's it's so important. Real quick, I think number one, we've got that on the buying guide already. I think uh, but, we have uh, the so we have the Sony ZV F, which is uh, the which is Ford. fine. It's about half the price of this one. This mm -hmm. one's brand new. It just came out. Um, and I think I'm gonna start recommending this over the ZV well, uh, 1F for a few different reasons, but I mean, neither here nor there. We'll probably list both of them. I'm uh, probably gonna end up, like Alex basically talked me into probably buying that one um, because if you're somebody who has a gimbal, like the DJI Osmo gimbal for your phones, yeah, that one actually comes with a little hand tool that's a tripod also. And just like this has all the buttons on it for record and turn and do all that stuff. Yep. That comes with it. The other thing that he told me, because I said, well, hmm. if that thing is a vlog stick or a vlog camera, it must have like really good like oscillation cancellation or whatever that's called. And he said, yeah, it's got like a five axis uh, thing. So like you can be moving around and everything stays nice and smooth because it's hmm. basically on a gyroscope. And the other thing that was really cool about it that I thought was neat that really sold me on it is last week we were just saying, if I buy another camera, I want to be able to fold out the uh, uh led display the so yeah. that it folds out and then turns and so that you can see yourself in frame because anybody who's ever tried to get like the your front facing camera on your phone to record you yeah it's like yeah uh, yeah that's it's that's like you have fun. to almost have like a setup in place or good luck so anyways yep. let's see jack well, says oops that's the wrong one jack says i use a canon m50 it's an old cam but it's still a good one yeah, uh, there's nothing wrong with old cameras, especially for photos. Uh, videos, they kind of show their age relatively quickly. But for photos, uh, old cameras are great. They're so great. In fact, when we are at LBX uh, and we have our little, it's called a step and repeat. It's like a big photo backdrop for people to take photos in front of with logos from our sponsors. Um, the picture taking station, which is just over there, and I'm so frustrated that I can't show you right now actually is running off of my Canon 5D Mark II, which is like a 15 year old camera. 
and it still produces like beautiful 20 megapixel like gigantic super sharp photos uh so there's literally nothing wrong with old cameras and we could maybe do an episode on like maybe some used cameras to pick up at some point too i love talking about that kind of stuff i could talk about that stuff for hours there's something else for a minute ago john said that for like being uh oh <laughs> he was talking about setting up the uh the for the shows setting up for a live band in one of the station's former recording studios was always a challenge and then tearing it down and tying it into the main studio board through a patch was a challenge which is what we're gonna do <laughs> basically yep and then Vince said, you'll get to LBX and finally only have a 1200 baud internet connection. No. Don't even. <laughs> Don't. Beep, 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 beep. We have a possible redundancy plan anyway, but that would suck. We do. And we do have a failover network, which is nice. So um, part of the cool thing about the Odyssey is that it runs on something called a Nighthawk, which is just, it's essentially a 5G hotspot, but it's really like a 5G modem. Um, I would call it a modem over a hotspot because it does like gigabit speeds, which is really great as long as you have a solid cell connection. So if we get there and it is like a ridiculously slow connection, you know, we're like kilobits or whatever, uh, we can switch over. I did have to, uh, fun fact, again, I don't know if anybody cares about this, but I actually had to power it down so we won't be able to use it as a real failover because it the antenna is causing so much interference on all of our mic lines so if we do use it we're gonna have to like <clears throat> reroute the mic lines like away from it it's gonna be like a thing I, we can probably get it solved in like 20 minutes but uh i the first thing i noticed when i put the headphones on to jump into Streamyard was the, the da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 like a cell phone thing almost da, da, yeah exactly yeah just cell interference which is horrible it's the worst uh i i literally can't stand it so um while it's nice that we have it uh it will certainly take a little fedangling to use it it's not gonna it's not gonna work in the mounting position where it currently is i mean the nice thing is it just lifts out so we can just take it out with the antenna and move it 20 feet away <laughs> And then just run an ethernet cable and i can bring an ethernet cable for that that's not that hard so that's if we do, if, yeah if we do have to use it we can certainly set it up uh for use that way where in a way where it's not gonna uh interfere with the rest of the electronics that we have going on here and the wiring's a nest uh as you guys can see um from this view i mean if, if you can see it it's it's a bit dark uh intentionally because it's horrifyingly ugly in there <laughs> uh, but there's there's so there's like 50 pounds of just cables in, in that case right now uh everything from power to audio to video the um, case itself probably weighs 500 pounds it's, it's it, but what did it weigh matt you just looked you know the so answer, yeah matt. alex was like i know the case isn't gonna weigh more than like 140 because so basically the the most expensive thing will you'll see when you get there uh, and they're not the most expensive, the most heavy thing, the heavy. Wow. The heaviest. I know words. I know words. Good. It's the most um, heavier yeah. thing. I have the best words. Anyways. Um, the words. <laughs> the best. Uh, so yes, there is an item that is the heaviest of all the items. Uh, you'll see when you get there. And then that cart was 114 pounds with nothing in it, but air. Um, <laughs> and then if like I started, like, that's what I have. I literally have a list of all the items that I have to add um into that and i'm pretty sure it's going to be quite heavy yeah alex is like there's no way this cart's over 130 pounds there's, it's not possible physically <laughs> alex that cart weighs at least three of you <laughs> we have to tell the people who are shipping it that it doesn't yeah no we can't lie yeah oh, yeah willie said matt the english teacher not anymore buddy <laughs> not anymore that's true by the way speaking of holland cargo willie said he got the drive around with uh pascal 800 miles around Texas. So if you guys were following that on uh, Facebook, you probably saw him all over the place. And I saw Willie driving and texting, staring down at the ground. Oh, my God. Like, so, Willie, please Naughty. don't die. I know, right? Good Lord, man. Busted. Looked good, though. Looked like you guys had a good time, man. Got busted by your co-pilot. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, there's a two. What's this? John says, I'm guessing it's probably too late for this, but a single power isolation transformer for all the electric would help nuke the noise interference. Oh, yeah. There is not time for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then let's see. Learning with Sydney said, I wish I could go to LBX, but I found out about it the day after they closed the ticket purchases. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah. We We were just talking about that today. Yeah. It's it's not that they – I don't think they had like a closing date, maybe like a week or two out or something probably so they could prepare for food and stuff. But I don't think they planned on closing tickets that early. They sold out. Definitely. Oh. Um, yeah, they did. It's a yeah. how, many, how many tickets is there? Do you guys know what that meant? No, like five hundred, maybe. Yeah, we just like, got estimates. So yeah, that's the estimate was about five hundred. I think for like fire because there's fire safety. Like you cannot breach that. Yeah. Let um, you. Well, also when you're when you're planning an event too, like only so many people fit and yeah, yeah, right. It is. Yeah, what there's it is. some codes. There's codes for it. So, yeah. um. I mean, if if this year goes well, and obviously they're getting a good turnout, I'm sure it's going to impact how they plan for next year. So, um, I am not going to quote that. Like, it's not like an official thing, but I did see um, it was either Sarah or Jason in one of the Facebook groups had said because uh, someone said, "Hey, I missed buying tickets this year," and they said, "Seeing after seeing how this goes, this might be something that is like they're going to try different places around the country too." So it's not going to always be in the same location. I think is what they were saying. They're yeah, gonna try to I think do they're like, going to move around to to try and spread. Yeah, like a southeast spread one. convenience for everyone. Yeah, because um, you know this one is definitely a trip for me. I'm leaving at five in the morning, I think, to get to the airport by six, and then flying until like three 10. or four hours later. Yeah, yeah, ten o'clock. So, and again, not definitely not get speaking for them because God, they've got so much on their plate now, but it was something that they had said was a, uh, like something they were thinking about doing was like having different ones around the. Well, that's country. normal for all conventions. They always go West coast, East coast, Midwest. Yeah. What Texas, was this though is they, they were saying it might even be like, I think in that same comment, they said it might be more than one a year. I don't know, but like, we'll see. Mm. But I mean, Oh my God. That's... Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> Alex is it's like, nothing. We, <laughs> it's nothing we know for sure of. So yeah. And that's, that's all the, it, it was people co- like doing, having a conversation. So, but that'd oh, be really neat though. It's like, it'd be cool. Cause then you could keep that like the education. How many going. viewers do we have? I, it doesn't show me cause I'm not logged in. We're at 29, 29 right now. Hey, nice. You know nice, what? Guys. Hey, appreciate you being here. If you guys are hanging out and you, you love, love the content. Smash that like button for the hundredth episode of the podcast. We'd appreciate it. Oh, and if you're watching in the comments. in the not live viewership, smash the like button and subscribe. And leave a comment. And leave a comment, letting us know when you started watching the Laser Source podcast. What Miranda said. Yeah, don't, don't quote us. us. Don't ask. Um, can yeah, you guys no. hit the Can you guys hit the share screen button real quick? Yeah, I, I got wanna... you. So this is the multi view. That's pretty cool. Um, the two QR codes that you see are to be able to control the IP cameras, which aren't currently working. That's something I'm going to be doing after the stream. But uh, this is the switcher. So you can actually see I can switch through all four of our main cameras right here. And uh, I can also change the preview. And if we have something previewed, like the interview station, and then I'm up here in the program, so I'm what's being broadcast, we can hit the cut button. And it's actually going to switch those two. So you can see what you're going to cut to uh, before you hit the cut button. And then it cuts, which is really interesting. Uh, There's also, uh, they call it the T-bar. But you can do manual transitions as well between the two. And they have a bunch of cheesy transitions in here that I would literally never use. um, Like Like this. Like the high school stuff. Yeah, (laughs) rough. Um, but That's awesome. You can, if you auto it out, like they're a little bit better, but honestly, they, there's an option to do stingers, which are just like big things that just kind of fly across the screen, then mask the transition. By the way, can you Ooh. go back to the one? I want that one to be mine right there. Like, what, this like one? now we're going to head over to Matt with some, with some commentary. I want you to just be like, yeah, just eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys. Like through the gap. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Um, so, you know, no one's ever going to use that. We're just going to cut between the scenes, but it's a cool thing to see. Um, that's what I have up on this monitor over here. So I can see literally everything that's happening during the broadcast while it's happening. And of course, uh, we still have the green screen behind us there. So, uh, you can see that too. I'm really, really upset that I cannot show you guys the PTZ cameras, um, because they're super cool. They're really, really awesome. Um, 
but I'm just gonna have to keep working on that uh, to get that fixed before go time. Um, Scott says, any idea if there's a virtual component at LBX? Well, we'll we're be virtual. That's us. Half of it. You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be covering the keynotes and and the other stuff that we can cover. Doing panels. Yeah, in uh, fact, interviews. Um, let me show that off really quick. Where we're doing we're doing educational content as well, mixed in. Yeah, you're getting so there's a ton of stuff. Uh, let's actually talk about that really quick. Uh, LBX will be streaming, so there's going to be a few different tracks of talks, and uh, they'll be streaming some of them, not all of them. So if you want to see the actual talks that are being given, Lightburn will have a few of those. Uh, our coverage is going to be a lot more interactive i think uh a little more or a little less static i should say let me just bring this up here so if we go to light burn no stupid laser everything.net can one of you guys full screen this for me it's really small on my computer laser everything.net uh so if we come to the website here and you scroll down you'll see this light burn experience live coverage 2023 and we have our broadcast schedule up. So you can see our whole broadcast schedule ahead of time. Uh, here we've got our countdown timer, guys, nine days. Ugh. Um, so if we scroll down here, uh, here's day one, here's day two. Day three, we're going to kind of be running and gunning with the camcorders uh, out and about. So that'll be really cool. I don't have a schedule for it, but we will be live. And you can click any of these links here. It will take you to the live streams. They're already up. And ready to go right here on YouTube. So if you let this load up, uh, and I'm asking a lot from the broadcast computer right now, I'm streaming like 10 things. Uh, so here you can see this is the day two stream. So you can literally go and hit the uh, button well to subscribe for sure right now. You can go smash the like button there right now. And then uh, if you're logged in, there's a little button that says notify me. Oh, it's right here. Notify me when it's live so that you guys don't miss it. But uh, what I wanted to show you was our broadcast schedule. So if you come in here, you can see everything we're going to cover. So uh, the first day we're doing keynote predictions, um, and then the keynote will come up, and then we'll have reaction coverage of that. Then we've got a bunch of never-before-seen Laser Everything episodes. Uh, the morning stuff is more geared towards our web services, so that'll be really excited uh, or exciting. Then the second half of the day, we're interviewing the speakers. So either before or after their talks, they'll be coming down uh, to sit in that section that I showed you guys a little bit earlier where we have the tables and all the mics and talking to them about the event, uh, about their talks, uh, advice that they have for makers, all kinds of things like that. And in between those for little breaks, we have little 15 minute segments. So we'll be doing some vendor spotlights for some of our vendors <clears throat> over at the New Maker Remix Market. And then we'll also be doing uh, some, we're calling them light burn quickies. They're just like 15 minute, super short uh, light burn tutorials that you guys can watch and take advantage of too. So we're going to kind of bop back and forth. So we'll have a live segment, then we'll roll some pre recorded stuff for 15 minutes so we can get the next panel in and then back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And we'll do that uh, throughout the rest of the day on day one. Day two is very much the same. They're having a what's coming in 2024 announcement. So we'll be able to do our 2024 predictions uh, and kind of guess what's coming. And then we're going to react to that coverage after. The morning is very similar. A lot of never before seen content. This is kind of content that's geared towards our web services and how to take advantage of them, all of the resources that we offer to the community for free. Then we have a couple more panels and a couple never before seen episodes of the show. And then lastly, um, the uh, developers on Lightburn are doing a panel and we'll be broadcasting that panel live, uh, including all of the questions. And we're kind of mystery science theater 3000-ing it. So we'll That's be giving- what they wanted us to do. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, and I, I was like totally on board with that. So we're actually gonna be doing like live commentary while they're talking, uh, which will be really great. And then we'll have some reaction coverage for that. And then that will cap off day number two. And again, day number three, the show, uh, the show floor is open. So uh, the vendor booths will be up. People will be there talking about their products and things uh, and have stuff on display. So we got wireless camera rigs, just like they use for like newscasting. Uh, and someone will be here at the hub where I'm sitting. And then the other two guys are going to be out on the trade show floor uh, <laughs> talking to people, interviewing people. We've got a whole different like mic kit, like mobile setup for that. 
uh, and we'll be just kind of like running and gunning. So I don't really know what's going to happen on day three, but it's definitely going to be exciting. <laughs> um, so we've got that uh, coming as well, too. So mm -hmm. as far as a digital or online component goes, I think that our uh, our coverage of the show should have you pretty well covered. Um, I was going to say a couple things, too. We yeah. also have things planned at our booth. I don't know if you want to get into it or if you want <clears throat> me to. It's all you, bro. Yeah, I was going to say, so we have stuff planned at our booth. So if you're someone who's here now watching the show, come see us. Uh, we uh, were really fortunate to have some people help sponsor us. And so we made some dope stickers. Like Alex worked really hard on making some really cool stickers. Uh, those are getting printed by H&H &H Creations Tampa this week. -ish. And they will never be available again. Nope after it's, the show so oh, these kind cool. of stickers right here that are like holographic these kind of like white vinyl cool things to decorate your lasers with and stuff your computers like they're i'm really slap on the back night. of your laptop i do feel bad if i have time i feel bad for the people i can't make it which is most people and everybody is going to be watching the live stream i think i will put them up on our merch shop while lbx is going on and then like Probably sunday left. night i'll take them down so by the way you can grab some uh there and we also don't know how, like, we really don't know how many are going to get made because we, when we were talking with uh, Christina today, um, <laughs> Cubing Crack says, I'll resell them for 50 bucks a pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's our young all. entrepreneur. Hustle, baby. Hustle, uh, by man. the way, before I go, speaking of young entrepreneurs, Anthony from Beam It Up at Laserworks, thank you for that. <laughs> Super <laughs> buddy. Thank you, Anthony. I don't He's have got air horns. I need to get air horns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he's somebody who does a ton for our community too. Earlier on, he had said Alex does like one of the most, does the most for the laser community, but Anthony does a lot for our community too. Oh, that's also a good one. <laughs> um, so thank you, Anthony, man. We appreciate you, buddy. Um, but yeah, so come to the, the booth for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, you might get to see us in action talking. You might get to meet some of the people who are doing the panels. Um, we don't know when those people are showing up, but you know, that's one of those things where maybe you get to see somebody who you wanted to meet and you could say, Hey, after the, the discussions. Um, the other thing that we're going to have going on is there is going to be a photo booth or Alex's fancy term is a, what's it called? A step and repeat. The step and repeat. It's a red carpet segment where you will get to step out onto the red carpet flash. We've got a, like literally a camera setup going on um, where you can get a, an HD picture, right? Like some high definition quality pictures. It's a, uh, I, yeah, Show I up with your friends and get a group a, picture. I talked yeah. about it just a little bit earlier, uh, but it's the 5D Mark II. So it's yeah, like it's a 15 year old camera, but it takes really nice. But pictures. it's a great camera for just doing exactly that, which is what Alex was talking yeah. about earlier. Yeah. Um, so it's one of those things. Stop by um and actually get your picture taken um if you wanted the picture with one of us except for kyle Ugh, he's gonna be remoting everything he's literally gonna be like he'll he'll be the robot in the thing that's like smile for your picture yeah <laughs> yeah the little uh, head in the monitor on wheels it'll be, it'll be <laughs> like when you watch like uh the apollo creed house in the like way back in the old rocky days but anyways, what I'm getting at is we're <laughs> going to be at the booth. Come say hi to us and stuff when you can because, um, you know, it's cool to so get to meet yeah, each other. If, and you then come, on if you come, I'll tell you probably the most exciting thing that you can do if you come to the booth is if you catch me when I'm not sitting in front of a camera, you might make it into one of the BTS blogs or vlogs, which would be cool. Yeah, because I'm going to have a little I'm gonna have a little ZV1 and I'm going to be pointing it everywhere. So. You know, it might be like, hey, guys, what's up? It's Alex of Laser Everything, and I'm here with Tactical Patriot, and we're hanging out at LBX. You know, who knows? I don't know. If Tactical Patriot is there, you should be in the school, sir. I know who you are. Get to class. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my former <laughs> students. Nice. <laughs> Definitely sir. not as cool. Yeah, get your butt back to work. But, yeah, so, anyways, long story short, uh, come get the cool stickers. Come get yourself in front of the things. Blast it on social media so that everybody can see where you were. It's a really, really cool backdrop. Um, and it's it's huge. It's eight by ten. So I mean, it's massive. It's gonna be hard to miss. And it's just a free, cool HD picture for you to be like, I was there. You could frame it. You could put it on your shop wall. That's where I'm gonna put mine right there. Just saying. I've never seen. Actually, I'm really impressed right now. I've never seen this view with the key before. And you can see the gray floor along the bottom runs right up to where the green. It's really starts, smooth looking. It's dude. black there. Yeah, it's awesome. It's super cool. <laughs> We're really excited, guys. We've spent a lot of money and even more time preparing for this <laughs> so uh, too. this event. We've never, we've literally never done anything like this before. It's been completely new for everybody involved, 
and we just like decided to go for it. And uh, so we're really, really excited. We appreciate everybody's support. We really needed it for this one. I mean, the marketplace is one thing. That's something we're comfortable with. We know the machines. We know the suppliers. This has been like an entirely fresh and new thing. And we've been really excited about it. Not only because we get to meet you guys, but because we get to do broadcasting. I mean, that's like, <laughs> that's bigger than YouTube. You know, it feels like it feels bigger anyway. It's and it's, you it's know, what's taking, really interesting is I get, to meet you guys. I get to meet you guys. Yeah, I know. No <laughs> yeah. shit, man. We're gonna smell your perfume. For over a year. I don't know what you're talking about. I wear perfume. Also, we got uh, an Airbnb while we were there because I don't want to yeah. stay in a hotel. And uh, it's big and it's on waterfront property. And I bought like a poker set, like a really nice <laughs> one with like ceramic <laughs> chips just for this trip. And we're going to record some e stop content while we're there too. Uh, since we're all going to be in, in case 13 out hour day night. wasn't enough, we're going to drop another two on there with <laughs> some alcohol. Yeah. We're also going to have uh, <laughs> Michael Mullins is going to be hanging out with us a lot ah. on this trip. So if you guys. Enjoy Michael Mullins, um, you know, laser engraving 911. He's on the show all the time. So if you watch regularly, you know who he is. Uh, he'll be there. He's literally staying at the Airbnb with us and he's going to be in and out of the studio. I'm sure he'll be off like recording his own content too, but um, he's definitely taking more of like a vlog approach to it. So he's going to have some free time. So I told him to come and kick it with us in the studio for a while. Nice. We have some downtime and stuff. So Hell it'll yeah. be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We're going to have some behind the scenes footage of him trying to fish. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, he's really he is, excited for that fishing. He is. I, he went, as soon as he saw that we we're gonna have the waterfront like property, it was like he was like, "I'm getting my fishing gear." I was like, "How are you getting that on a plane?" <laughs> Very carefully. Yeah. yeah, that sounds sounds like a him problem. Yeah, Google keystering. <laughs> Bronson, you can definitely come play poker with us after hours, bro. I don't know what the buy-in is yet. It depends on how poor I am when we get to LBX. <laughs> I, I'm still not done. I, placed, the sponsors. I had to place another Amazon order this morning. I placed oh, yeah. another Amazon order because I didn't have a uh, shipping wrap, like like cellophane wrap or whatever. Oh, so I had to, dude, I got like I got like the 60 gauge. It's like the thickest saran wrap ever for like <laughs> literally shipping purposes. Just so you guys know, Alex has put himself in physical harm's way multiple times while I've been on the like headset I with them in the past couple of weeks. Uh, well, yesterday he's like, bro, I got this tape and it's so strong. It smells like gasoline. It does. <laughs> he's like, I like to huff it. Like, it's not a lot. Where is it? By the way, I really like this answer. How much is the buy-in is what Cuban crack said. <laughs> and Kling metal said it's a 10 watt diode. <laughs> like, I see you didn't want dial. Did you see John's? 20 watt. Case case of Coca -Cola. Cola. John suggested case of Coca-Cola. Uh, that's just no, to get no, in the no, door, no, no, bro. That's there, just to, yeah, get, in that's the just to get into the door. The, there's money on the table or it's not worth playing. People are like, let's play with pennies. I'd like. I'd rather go smash my head into a brick wall. That oh sounds God. more fun. My children don't, don't need pennies. to eat. It's fine. What am I, 900 years old? Pennies. Come on. That's $9 in pennies. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says he'll be the bank for Bronson. Oh my God. Oh boy. Does that mean he's going to be a sugar? Okay, no, that means he's going to break Bronson's knees oh. when we take all of his money because he's a little child and doesn't know how to play poker. Oh my yeah, God. right, dude. He probably grew up with his cell phone in his hands the whole time just playing. He's going to like snark, like snipe us all. Oh, you mean like the 40 year old virgin? I mean, just yeah, like watch, just watch as like a poker star star. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. He's going to razzle dazzle with his hair. He flip. can hide. Yeah, I was going to say he can hide his tell behind the. The emo hair. It's like I you gonna what's your raise? It's like I raise you a ten watt diode. I call you with Kyle helping you on your air assist. Yeah. Like he's gonna be betting Kyle's time. Yeah. I can get used to this, man. I like this setup. This is cool. Yeah. You we do look better this, when we don't right? see your face. Your background? Good. That looks good. Yeah, right oh, there. <laughs> look right. Solid. Right. Oh here. man, that's way better. Yeah. <laughs> You got a good view of the cowlick. One hundredth nice. episode. We finally figured out the key to success. <laughs> Make it Alex really around. dark and turn Alex around. <laughs> turn the beat around. We're just singing that. Oh boy. A hundred episodes, guys. Oh, look at this. Beam it up has a good point. The kid makes card decks for a living. I oh, smell true. Rain Man yeah. situation. <laughs> he, he might destroy it. I totally forgot about that, actually. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, Bronze is straight up just gonna be like. Yeah, I don't really know anything about this. I changed my mind. We can play for pennies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, like, yeah, totally. <laughs> What'd you say? The two hearts? And he, like, shoots it out of the deck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Nah, that sucks. We're fucked. 
dude, a hundred is a lot though, guys. Like anything that you do a hundred times means you're becoming proficient at it. Yeah. Think about that too. You get your hundred bad videos out of the way to make a good video. Or it's funny you say that on the day we were 40 minutes late. Uh, well, I call it a lot early. It wasn't 40 minutes. It was like 25. I you got in here at 940. You came in with the nice. There was a yeah. We were here. Just everybody loved us. They were amazing. And then you know you showed up. Good. You what wanted to you? show them something special, <laughs> and you did. It's ten twenty, and we've been going for fifty six minutes. So you guys started like fifteen minutes before I got here. That's math, everybody. Yeah, so you're full <laughs> of twenty five technically, but anyways, twenty five plus fifteen. But all right. So the good news is you've been here since me, episode boys. one. <laughs> You've gotten to see us come all this way. (laughs) Fucking physics. Emergency (laughs) top.net. You've gotten to see us, well, not us, mostly Alex and Kyle put together an entire broadcast studio. We've got the uh, marketplace coming up. Oh, man, so much going on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that we, like, explicitly said it yet, but we are taking advantage of LBX to celebrate the grand opening of the market, um, which we didn't really talk about at all. Uh, But that's really exciting too that's another thing that we've spent a very very long time and a very very large amount of money creating for the community so um to be able to open that and say like here it is and it's open now i mean you guys can go make purchases today and that's awesome we have a lot of great vendors over there uh but this is this will be kind of like signifying like hey here we are we're advertising we're bringing we're bringing stuff in you know uh and i think that's cool i think that's important and cool yeah i think that people do people need to zoom out and really think about this created a marketplace from scratch built a mobile broadcast studio from scratch in the same summer pretty much yeah that is a lot of fucking work <laughs> and i'm glad i only work part-time <laughs> because that would suck yeah. <laughs> it's, oh it's, been a, it's been a ride yeah it's, thank god it's over I just want to make videos. I just want to go back to making videos, especially like, with all this fancy shit. That's that's what I'm, you want to talk about. What I'm excited about. I'm mean, like, like LBX is pretty exciting, dude. When I get back, instead of unpacking this stuff in here, I'm going to be unpacking it in the new space that we got down the hall, which is going to be the studio now. So we'll have the laser room oh. and the studio. Matt had the great idea of putting all the lasers on individual tables with casters. So when we need to use one, we cart it over to the studio. The lights are always in the same place. Cameras the are mics, in position. The, lights. Yeah, mics everything. are always in the same spot. Uh, and it's it's good to go. You just push the the table where it needs to go and start recording. And it's good. Yeah. And the other and, thing, uh, too, is he'll have the – you guys didn't get to see the, the moving cams. Um, mm-hmm. But basically – he can literally have it follow him. It tracks him. So if you want to walk around and show you something, ah, eh, whatever, show him next time. You're good. Uh, you can't no unveil next, time. next Tuesday. <laughs> next no next Tuesday. Time. It'll be in a, gonna, it'll be in a crate. Bro. Next it'll Tuesday? Be in a, You've lost your mind. Miranda said you are already. Oh she answered God. for you. Did she, she did did the say that? Yeah. yeah. She said in the comments. Yeah. By the way, just so you know, in case you missed it, uh, my guess is Alex saying we're not going to be doing it next week because everything he's going to spend a day crating up a thousand pounds of shit. The other thing is, for sure, the day of Halloween is a Tuesday. We will not be here because we will just have gotten back from traveling across the country, and we want to see our family for a little bit. So, like, I'm going trick-or-treating with my kids. I know Alex is set up to go. Uh, Kyle's going to scare the shit out of some kids and steal their candy. Mm. Boyce doesn't even have to wear a costume for that. Nope. (laughs) Scare those little bastards. <laughs> Just take that camera. Take the candy. Oh my god. Anyways, it's not over. Where is my high? Hello. Hello there. Hello. Now, All I, right, I am uh, honestly considering sitting outside on my deck with the light on so you can trick or treat and scaring the shit out of kids for real. Yeah. That's just fun. I'm a slacking Florida man, according to John. That's fair. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, it'll be good. Um, and that'll be nice to have a day to, to kind of see family and, and uh, enjoy oh, what you've created, man. Like nice. the baby that John just brought up. <laughs> Alex Miranda's new baby that arrived. <laughs> like that whole thing, yeah. too. Yeah, In he's almost, dude. Fuck, you want to get messed up? Ollie's almost six months old. What the hell? And he's the size of a two year old. 
I know. <laughs> that, that kid is, dude. Awesome. We were calling him the, we were calling him the mini fridge earlier. Who He's would call a kid fridge. a refrigerator? That's messed up. I'm pretty sure it was you. Pretty sure you came up with that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's accurate is what it is. It's, it's also tech. fair. Dude, these He's wave mics, these wave mics sound pretty good, actually. I'm I'm kind of a fan. I, I thought they'd be a little worse than the Samsons, but they're 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 decent. I told you they were pretty like he plugged them in. I'm like, he goes against my normal quality of sound, what are they? I'm like, it's like a nine. And he was like, no, no, <laughs> he wouldn't believe it. I'm like, yeah, we'll turn the game a little up. better. I can hear, I can hear just a little bit of the fans from the server, but it's not bad. Not here. Yeah. Well, I have the volume jacked up over here so I can hear myself. So that's good. All right. We are at one hour. We're at a hundred minutes is what Damn. it says. Not really. Ollie is 20 pounds. My just so you guys know, my six year old, I think, just hit 42 pounds. He's he's bigger than my cat now. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Nugget's about two and she's 25 pounds. Yeah, Good God almighty. And she's John said he's gonna play defense for the Bears. The Bears, the Bears, anybody can. Oof. <laughs> All right, Alliance anything man. else you got that you want to show off tonight? Nothing that would be convenient or easy, unfortunately. So, you guys will just have to wait until LBX. But that's probably good because I would have just given everything away. So uh, enjoy your sneak peek, and we will have a whole lot more for you when we get to uh, where we're going. Uh, what, 300 so square feet exciting. of LE. Of yeah, yeah, we've got uh, we've got a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you guys haven't seen. I'm just looking at all of it. I'm like, I could have shown them that. I could have shown them that. I could have shown them that. But- oh, this is a good point. Uh, Laura asked, what time are you guys getting there Thursday? I'm going to wake up there Thursday. Yeah, um, that's one of the things I was going to say. On Thursday, we'll definitely say hi to people, but if you see us cussing and screaming at equipment, yeah, we're working. Like, <laughs> be kind. <laughs> like, say hi. Like, we'll definitely hang out afterwards for sure. Yeah, I have to pack all of this up. It's li- I'm it not there. kidding you when it's 750 pounds. No joke. That's then where I'm get at. It, yeah, then get it off the pallet once it's there and then put it all back together. <laughs> And then three days later, I have to take it all back apart and do it. Boyce again. and I, I don't even think we're gonna go to the the place we're staying first. We're just gonna drive in there yeah. and like hit hit, hit the working. ground running. Yeah, no, working. if you go to the Airbnb first, you're you're after. You're not. You're just not gonna leave. I straight. Well, yeah, we wouldn't even be able to get in. Probably, Alex would be like, I changed the code. Yeah. <laughs> I picture Alex when I walk in for the first time seeing Alex. I picture him being just like. Get in here! I need your help. <laughs> just like slicing shit up and like, ah! and that'll be well, the first here's time the, here, my boss. So we'll probably be there around twelve o'clock on Thursday. Me and Matt, roughly. Kyle's like, "Fuck you guys! I'm gonna 30. fucking wake up and not go anywhere." <laughs> yeah, did you hear John? John knows what's up. I'll, I'll probably bring caffeine. I'll probably sugar. go to bed at like three a.m., four a.m., and then get up for. Well, yeah, he'll be stream. he'll be there fixing all the computer stuff that we need him to fix anyway. So Laura lives at Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah, mm, that sucks. That's where she's flying out of at least. Yeah, she's Rhode up in the Rhode tippy Island top corner, nice. man. Fucking Rhode Island. What's it like I living like on Rhode a Island. pool table? I like Rhode Island. <laughs> I would like Rhode Island. <laughs> okay, Rhode Island. You're the one who lives on the surface area of a swimming pool, so she's not much better. Connecticut. Connecticut. I mean, Connecticut. I didn't say anything nice about Connecticut, but I the like postage, Rhode Island. The postage stamp of states, Connecticut. Yeah, I guess. Miranda says no. Uh, no, Laura, I'm not going. I'll be there virtually. He will. He'll be pushing the buttons. I will be. I will be the I man push. pushing the buttons that yeah. Alex can't push. When yeah. you see me with my joystick and it's not working, and I'm talking frantically into a microphone, and you're like, "Who the hell is Matt talking to?" It's going to be Kyle and Mayer going like, "Take a breath, dummy. I got this." Yeah. Stop touching the joystick, man. <laughs> Quit playing with that. Yeah, don't touch that. You'll go blind. I'm <laughs> em- I'm emotional. I feel emotional. It's a dude. Hundred episodes. It's pretty rad. I didn't even think that we'd ever have one. A, a podcast sounded so stupid when we first started the channel. Like, nobody's going to watch a podcast about laser engraving. That's so dumb. I can't remember what episode episodes. my first episode. I'm curious when I first my first episode on here. Uh, I know it's, it's you were 23. I thought special. Yeah, 22 or 23. I remember. I have no idea what I was. I know I was November of two years ago. You were like, two. Two, oh, two November. The first episode that I was on, I think, was the one just after Matt. I can tell you. I can look. I can tell you right now. 
I, I can exactly figure it out. Go. What's funny though is uh, John said I'm I'm glad that John said exactly what I had said before. He said tech tip pro to, uh, pro tech tip label both ends of all cables before you unhook and pack up. Oh, and yeah. we had just talked it. about that with white tape and we sharpie and everything. Like we Party got that in for progress. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And then like that's where I'm making a list of everything we need and what section it's gonna be in. Uh, the, we actually have to do that because the way that I have things not entirely nested right now is all of the cables are zip tied to exactly the length they need to be for what they're plugged into. So I have to mark every single one so that because otherwise they won't be the right length. I'll have like a super long one going from like one thing to one thing and then like a tiny short one. I need the little brother. The that's yeah, that so sounds all... crazy without context. Just so you guys know, Alex made a virtual space for the layout yeah. of the space we're given at LBX. I did. So we have a literal AI file. <laughs> it, it it's to scale. Like, yeah, it is live, to scale. live demonstration. It's um, actually to scale. Set the setup. That's taking yeah. into and account use that to build this, and uh, you guys can't see it because. Why would you be able to? But I already told him the not, blue tape on the ground. Yeah, we blue taped it. Yeah, I put they like Moses the lasers to the sides of the walls. And that's All where right, I told Alex, though, I think it's going to be a blessing in disguise because then when he comes back, like he's like I was saying, you get those tables ready with the wheels on them. It's going to make life so much easier in the long run. It's going to be dope. Wow, that was a good, that was a good guess, boys. It was twenty two. Mm. Yep. So Your first episode for seventy eight was nice. a twenty. Two Matt's was sixteen. There you go. Was it really? Yep. I don't know what yeah. yours was, Kyle. You were before Matt. Well, so I it's a little blurry for me because I, I was sick the first yeah. two times I was on and they were not far apart from each other, but one of the times I was on hanging out talking to you and, and Tony, I believe. And the second time was when we were talking about the laser that I was purchasing. Mm. Oh my god, guys. Episode 12. Episode 12. October 24th, 2021. Was Lightburn for Fiber Laser? History oh. and an inside look featuring Jason Dory. <laughs> this is when we got our first little taste that there may or may not be. I think that's when I became a mod on Discord. It was right about then. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. No, we actually before you came on, Alex, we asked people like we asked people what their first video was. They watched the laser everything. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> look, at, look at this guy. That was my 17th birthday, or 16th, I believe. God, I little keep... baby boy, makes me want to just ruffle his hair. He has hair. That's good. He's youth. Did you get any good answers? Yeah, yeah. When I, mean, I shared mine too, like how I was. There's, there was good memories, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. I'm so glad I missed all of that I, touching stuff asked... about the channel I made. <laughs> I asked all the viewers classic if they're not live to also leave a comment when they're first. Please do. Uh, I'd yeah. love to read them, especially because I, I just missed know. the first half of this podcast. Well, also, I like people to comment. What's their favorite episode? Period. Yeah. You know, like what's their favorite video of the whole shebang bang? There's over 100 videos. That's for damn sure. So that'd be a good thing to go out on. I know what, my, I know what my favorite is and my target for future content for the channel is going to be based on that and it's the uh ultimate photo engraving guide this is my favorite episode mm -hmm. of all time it's technical but it's fun we had really cool graphics that i built by hand uh the script is amazing i i wrote an awesome script i don't these guys will vouch i don't usually sit here and pat myself on the back i'm usually panicking because i don't think things are good enough that script was bomb and uh we got Damn. really good results it was it was dope the Ultimate Photo Engraving Guide was a great episode. And ever since I published that episode, I haven't had time to put that kind of time into an episode again. And that's a mm -hmm. big bummer for me. And that's why I'm so excited about all this new equipment that we were able to get for LBX, because I think it's really going to, like, once a camera goes somewhere, it will just stay. And I don't have to spend hours and hours every time I shoot a new video moving the recording setup around. It will literally uh -huh. just sit there and I can just turn things on and push a button and do it. That's you know, nice. and uh well and I the think, other thing too is Kyle will be able to like zoom in and help you. Like you can set shit up. I mean it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I I think that the 
um i think you guys are going to see a really big shift in the content quality going forward the after lbx is over quality. yeah yeah consistency of the quality because um that new space is really going to help us out it's an extra like 1500 square feet and That's we're going to just because rig, the size of my house we're going to rig things up the overhead camera is literally never going to move and we can do unboxings you know Ooh, there's gonna no have, shadows it's not one yeah, the PTZ will be in a spot where we can put the PTZ on the bed of the laser and it doesn't have to move. It can literally just sit there. It's got 30x zoom on it and we can control wow. it remotely without exposing ourselves to the lasers. I mean, like, it's just there's we've got so much stuff that's great for broadcasting that will apply very, very well to the kind of content that I want to make going forward. So um, and, and I'm going to try and make a lot Laura. of and I'm going to try and make a lot of A to Z kind of content like making anything start to finish i'm gonna try and really focus on one of those like a month maybe yeah. of making a blank start to finish best i can <laughs> oh kyle's wearing an earthbound shirt i yeah, i saw that was popular on uh the poll we did a poll on the lma recently we put that mm -hmm. up kyle yeah i think it was put that up and uh you guys said you wanted to see a lot of like a to z project videos like start to finish so it was pretty evenly spread um yep. Vinny, by the way, said his favorite episode is Jimmy, you shot me with a fucking laser. That was, was a good, good one. That was a good then, one. And uh, the <laughs> other thing we found out while I was while we were sitting here talking is Cubing's birthday is next week on Tuesday. Oh, he's going to be 12. Ooh. Yep, he'll be 13, <laughs> sir. Wow, okay. sorry. He's my no bad. longer a tween. Um, and then Laura's birthday is tomorrow. What? She's going to be 20 years old. You Happy can almost birthday. drink. No, 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 no. Well, we'll make sure we buy you, like, you know, um, Shirley Temple. <laughs> You'll be as old as my baby is fat. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Oof. The big, the big two zero. Um, the first episode I was on was the 15th <laughs> uploaded episode, by the way. Which oh, one so was I was it? right after you. Yeah. Uh, Galva vs. Gantry. What, what number was it? 15. I was 16. Oh, In the playlist, it's number 83. Wow, back to back, huh? Or maybe it's 16. Yeah, math is hard. Here's some fun <laughs> facts. I don't know if you guys listen to the audio podcast um, because you're here live every week, and that would be. Oh, the, I was redundant. on the one just before Matt then. But um, all time, not including YouTube at all, the podcast itself, the audio podcast RSS feed, has had seventy two point five thousand downloads. Damn, thousand downloads. Yeah, seventy two point five thousand downloads. Um, and yeah, uh, the uh, the last it has, 30 it days, it hasn't uploaded the whole time either. No, the, we've gone definitely reason. some gaps uh, between right. having babies and doing projects and things. We, we've definitely missed apps. So that means you got 100 episodes of the show. That means you got 50,000 subscribers on it's YouTube like coming up. It means you got 100,000. Yeah, 100,000 is the next one. Mm -hmm. Man, you got a lot. Like, it's, it's a lot going on this year. It's a big year, man. Yeah, it's a big Bro. year. We're gonna We're hit 50k, like dude. That's so. St I'm so stoked about that. We're, we've got to be close. I think Lori's birthday was Tuesday. Me. Happy belated, Lori. Everybody's just having birthdays. Oh wait, no, is Tuesday. So yeah, it's next Tuesday. Too. Yeah, it's all the uh, Valentines, babies. Guys, wow. we need. Here's a fun fact. Uh, we're about to hit 500 subscribers on Emergency Stop. So go to what? Yeah, go to go to you. <laughs> oh my god. god. Go to YouTube. And Don't if you it. haven't already, and subscribe it's, to Emergency Stop. You know it's what? Not I, for children. At at first, it's not at safe first, for children. Hold on, hold on. Let me make a case here. At <laughs> first, <clears throat> that's what I the think, lawyers are going to say about the channel too. <laughs> at first, I think it was very shock humory and gross and loud, but I think over time we've settled into a milder pocket, and I think we went from like. NA seventeen to like R, I think we've settled into like a, a like gentle like an, R. like an NC seventeen. No, I just said we left NC seventeen. Oh, we did. Not yeah, for if you have young kids around. That's wear wear headphones. Oh yeah, I say fuck every is five NC seconds during that show. But R? Is the point NC seventeen is definitely worse than I R. thought. You can R take was a 12, eighteen though. You can take a twelve year old to a rated R movie. As long as you're their parent and you give permission, it's true. You cannot yeah, do that to an NC-17. What's NC-17 stand it, for? Like no compatible L 
under 17. Like, you literally cannot walk. Rap, no nudity child under nudity. 17. Oh, yeah. That's what it means. No child under 17. Graphic yeah. nudity and, yeah. Oh, my Graphic God. Yeah. Nudity. All right. Well, I, I didn't know nudity. that. Is that just like pornos in the movie theater? It doesn't matter. It said, oh, like, it said oh, gratuitous drug we're, we're, we're going. We're going down content. If you here, want to. Irrelevant. If you want to subscribe to the audio podcast, emergencystop.net, or you can search for us on YouTube, just emergency stop podcast. If you don't type podcast, you get a bunch of weird stuff about like car crash testing and like stuff like that. So uh, emergency also, stop that could podcast. Be one of our, that could be one of our episodes. It could be. You never know. The <laughs> know. most recent episode is called <laughs> Colossal C- Country Time, and it actually features our video editor for Laser Everything, Jess, oh my God, uh, yeah. which is a really good episode. So. If you want to check it out, go check it out because we're just almost to 500 subs on YouTube for, for that channel. And it's a good show. If you like hanging out with us for this kind of stuff, you would like hanging out over there. That, the odds are. So but don't um, start at six. Go check that out. That's another thing that I'm really don't start at six. <laughs> I'm really proud of. I I, I like emergency stop. There, we have it's, our moments and it's gross and it's funny and it's weird. It's, it's like terrible. our venting weird sessions. It's, a very, it's kind of like therapy for us. It's very adult swim, Uh, but that said, I think it's also very genuine, and I think it's genuinely funny. So a lot of times it involves snacks and drinks. Yeah, (laughs) sometimes too many. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, But in the time I was talking, we got two more, so now we're at four ninety-five. So that's great. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I think that's it for stats. I was going to pull up the YouTube channel, but I'm not signed in on the laptop over here. And uh, I don't, I don't know where we're at, and I don't want to waste a bunch of time. We're at an hour and twenty minutes. You looking for the subscribers or the? Yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm just curious. Forty-eight thousand six hundred twenty-five subscribers. Um, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is. Forty-eight thousand. We are. We are yeah. probably gonna. By the end of the month. We're probably gonna hit fifty k before the end of November. Probably. Oh, I thought we were at like forty-eight nine. I guess not. No. Well, that's six and six. That, those are yeah. Now I'm disappointed. 3.8 million. Um, now you're dyslexic. By the way. <laughs> that's, that's what it actually is. That's what I'm saying. It's cool. You're like, it's disappointing. Like, now it's just dyslexia. All right. Yeah. We're in an hour and 20 minutes. Eight. These poor people are getting dragged on. Yeah. Well, we can go. We can let them go. <laughs> oh, look at that. What oh, my God. Hell? Laser of Love Creations. Holy shit, dude. Hitting us with a $50 super sticker. Woo! Uh, the horn. Oh, my. Laura. You better hit that horn. Thank you wait, for wait, the wait. love and the support. I think it's a... Uh... It's a trap! What? Get it's, a the trap. Trap. it's a oh, trap. Oh, it's a trap. 50K at LBX or I won't sleep, says Anthony. That'd be cool. Laura, I'll thank you so much for all your support, man. You've always got her back. We appreciate you, lady. We do. That would be That would be a lot of unexpected growth, but... We wouldn't be upset by it. <laughs> Anthony's just going to be coked out of his mind, being like, follow us, <laughs> like running to random people with a QR code. I mean, it's a hotel. We should literally just put a sign up in the lobby. That would be bizarre. I think the only way we would hit 50K by LBX is if every single one of you shared our channel. And it has to be like our best video, your favorite video with like eight Everyone. people on social media. Like you would have to all go out and do it right now. Without doing anything else, you'd have to literally drop what you're doing and go do that, and then we might do it. Maybe our best episode with like a really attractive thumbnail that just everyone would want to click. Like you know, one more, like do. you know, like you have to pick a really good one. There you go. Laura's got an idea. Oh no, I there clicked it too. I got it. I got it. She <laughs> said, "Put the QR codes on the bathroom doors, Bro. like inside the stalls when people are taking a dump." I'm not saying I'm going to do that. There you go. I'm not saying I'm going to do that. Probably a bad idea. NC seventeen. What was oh X? There's a Snapchat story about here at uni where thirteen K people can view it. Get on it, bro. Challenge, Challenge accepted. accepted. There's gonna what be is- a lot of women who are coming out of the stalls going like I just heard about something named emergency stop while I was taking a poop. <laughs> what is this? Cindy asked, "What's that money thing? What's that? What money thing?" Uh, you're, you're the super effect. stickers. Yeah, the super stickers. They are oh. donations to the channel. Um, for being awesome. Yeah, we really appreciate those. But if you like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we go live. Also, if you really, really like the channel, the number one way to support it 
especially now that we've made the LMA parameter libraries free for everyone is to go over to masters.lasereverything.net and sign up for a subscription over there. They start at eight bucks a month, uh, which I think is a super great deal. Not only does it keep these fellows employed, but it also funds all of our projects, including everything you're looking at here on screen. All of this, all of this, all of this stuff over here, like literally all of it uh, is, is made possible by the LMA. We would have no, none of this, literally none of it, nothing uh, without the LMA. So if you really, really like the channel and you want to support it, you want us to do another 100 episodes of this show, you want to see the next 100 episodes of Laser Everything with the new setup and, uh, you know, all of the lasers. We've got such a big backlog of lasers and video requests and things like that. Uh, it, it all costs an incredible amount of money that the community comes together uh, to give us so that we can keep doing it. Um, and we feed our families with this, uh, all of us, except Boyce, he's a cheater. And um, feeds his golden like, doodle with that. He's like, this ship can sink. I've got a yacht just two knots away. I'll just walk yes. on over and- I'll ride my it. golden doodle into the sunset. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> um, the rest of us feed our families with this. And uh, we're really grateful that we get to do something that we love every single day. So uh, thank you to all of our laser master academy members we really appreciate you uh there's a bunch of other links down in the description go check them out make sure you head over to laser everything.net check out the lbx uh you know broadcast schedule and see all the fun stuff that we have planned for you as soon as we end this call literally kyle's going back to reporting i'm going to go back to troubleshooting stuff with cameras and then i'm going to start packing we're literally ready to looking, start packing i'm getting the the cart together for everything for the shippers to put it together we have to email the um, vendors too for their little vendor interview spots. So we'll do that also. And God knows, I don't know, boys is probably going to go to bed because he's old. Um, do you remember the dinosaur up here that was actually a portrait of Boyce when he was getting out of high school? Um, <laughs> that's, my, that's my Uber. That's my Uber. Uh, <laughs> it's coming to pick him up out front. I think Rare. that's all I've got, unless you guys have anything else you want to plug. Um, I do. I do seriously think that I will put the LBX stickers up on Spreadshop and I, I will leave them up until Sunday night at midnight and then they will come down. So if you want to grab some stickers, you can't make it to the event, head over there. That supports us. Um, and maybe like one hoodie. I might pick like one of those graphics. And when are you like, going to make them live though? When am I? Gonna, I don't know. I, it depends yeah, maybe on my like have. I'll do it on Thursday. Thursday you guys will have yeah. to check back. You'll have to keep an eye on the website. So you yep. just hit that control R, baby. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's what I got. You guys good? Perfect. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for 100 episodes, everyone. I really, really do sincerely appreciate every single one of you. I love what I do, and I wouldn't choose to do anything else uh, with all the options in the world. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Laser Source Podcast. And as always, we will see you in the next one.